against uh, against this Bayonetta. So we'll see how this works out. I know a lot of Sonics do not like the Bayo matchup. I, think, I know uh, a lot of Diddy's kind of do like the matchup. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, no one no one likes the Bayo matchup, but Diddy's put up with it. Yeah, pretty much. But no, Sonic is known to have a hard time with Bayo. I think uh, she's able to kind of just make him play her game, which is not something he's used to doing, and kind of just outcamp him with those bullet arts. However, with that banana, he'll have a much easier time contesting Bayo as he tries to lock down the stage with those afterburner kicks. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll look for Seagull to just kind of play really safe, not throw out any unnecessary hitboxes, get a lot of damage off of grabs, get a lot of confir confirms of his banana. Yeah, uh, Seagull Joe knows to be very cautious with his buttons because which time is always a threat in the matchup. Absolutely. In any matchup. And really. so is Bats Within as he escapes that combo with uh, Bat, presumably because of the frame one Bats Within, although you never know, it might have been frame two. Ooh, and down air and combo. I always like seeing that. That always gets me hyped. And he chooses to just chuck him off stage, uh, get some stage control, pick out his banana instead of uh, do a combo. You know, often to hold on to it instead of keeping it on the stage to lock down. And it's also that's really good if he puts it on the platform like that. If he has the South Bayonetta from doing any more aerials in the air, she'll be have, she'll be restricted specials. And if you can force Bayonetta to do specials rather than normals, it's great. Because if you get out of it and you land at the same time, you have a free punish. Yeah, absolutely. Unless she lands on the ledge or does a witch time. Right. <laughs> there are actually two ways to cancel a uh, special ending lag. That's with witch time or with down air. Uh, well, actually, I'm pretty sure you just have to land with uh, a special on the same frame as you get the ground, but I think it's hard to do. Pretty sure oh, yeah, because her other specials send her upwards. So. Yeah, I can't, but there was like that video, there's a special time you can do, I can't remember. Uh, Bayonetta that has so much unnecessary tech. She's got some interesting stuff. Right now we're seeing an even game so far between the two, and an excellent smack to the top of the stage. Yeah, and he just held Jeb. up. He just held up on that C stick or whatever. He uses Showing the power of Virginia, <laughs> <laughs> taking the first stock. Oh, and this is gonna get scary for uh, for, for Diddy Kong. He's oh, I guess he took it. notes when he watched the Captain Zack Wadi game because he got a pretty good combo there. Whenever Bayonetta is like. I'm wondering if a bayonet is going to make it back. I'm always just like, why did I even ask that question? Of course he's going to make it back. It's like the old school, is Sheik going to make it back question. The answer is <laughs> always yes. Yeah. Or like Meta Knight, I guess. Or I Meta Knight as well, yeah. But no, I'm always like thinking, did, has he burned all his resources yet? And then, no. He and then you see it. three more jumps. You're like, oh, no, they didn't even burn one of them. <laughs> oh, man, but yeah, this is absolutely getting scary for... Uh, for a seagull right now. He's got to get this rage off of uh, Bayonetta because we all know Bayonetta can take stock so early with that rage. But that fourth though is going to yes, take it. it. Yes, will. absolutely. All right, 46% on Seagull Joe. The last hope from Maryland. <laughs> Besides the other guys and losers, I guess. <laughs> is anyone else from VA here today who's like still in bracket? I guess not. No. So yet again, we begrudgedly put all our faith in Jeb. <laughs> Maybe begrudgedly. Has, uh, you saying there's something wrong with it? it no, it's just it's a, it can be sometimes uh, hard to support Jeb. Oh, 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 whoa! I want to hear today, why. Today is not one of those. I want to hear why. Today we have the entire Jeb support behind I us. I want to hear why from the VA crew. No, <laughs> you have to be VA to know why. I thought you were gonna be biased against MD. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> now you're over here shit talking it, it VA slipped. players. It slipped. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's, oh, he lost, or he almost lost because of me. All right, I'm gonna go back to supporting my man. Maybe he'll be able to bring this back. This is just one combo away from coming back in the favor of Bayonetta. <laughs> Ooh, excellent fair to catch him out of the monkey flip, but could not confirm it into a kill, going for a nair rather than an up air. That was a great wait on Seagull Joe's part. And, and Seagull just dodge. misses the 50-50 there with the up air. He slightly misread the DI. And yeah, that uh, up throw up air combo is a really good threat against Bayonetta because of her the way her double jump works. It's a 50-50 until a really late percentage. Just because she has a hard time getting out of it with her double jump. Of all the attacks to go for off that banana, he went for a down air. <laughs> I saw that. I think it was probably a misinput. Alright, F throw. That actually almost killed. Wow. Jet being relentless, but getting caught by the back air yeah, still holding on. The hitbox is just like out there for so long, and I don't think Jeff expected that to be there when he when Seagull landed. Both players at crazy high percents right now, looking for the game-winning uh, hit. 
so many options for both of these characters to throw right now, and that uppy is not one of them. That will stop yet. comboing at later percentages. Oh, trading with the athletic Jeez. still holding on. 172 to 134. And that is Nair's going to do it from yes, center stage. It will. That game was a clencher. Oh, man. Crazy high rage contributing to that Nair kill. Absolutely. Let's and go, we'll Virginia. We'll see what answer Seagull's got. See, and uh, Jeb and I are matching today as far as uh, clothing goes. Like, yeah. we're both wearing blue base jerseys and black pants. <laughs> Shut up, cold weather. <laughs> But no, it's interesting. Seagull has a, apparently he's got like a lot of characters now in his pocket. He's like, he basically was telling me he's going to be a counterpick player from now on. He's got, he told me he has a Sonic. We, are no, we, are, we all know he's a Sonic. We all know he's a Diddy. But now he's like working on a, a Mario, he says. And oh yeah, he's a DK. I don't know if he's memeing with that or not, if, or if he's actually serious. Either way. Honestly, I don't know if anyone's actually serious when they play DK. I feel like everyone who plays that character is memeing. Now you put on that tie and you go to work and you're obviously incredibly serious. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, I can't take any DK seriously. What do you mean? They got a tie on. It's obviously serious. Yeah, it's all business. It's all business with that guy. Does that make him a door-to-door -door salesman with the ding-dong? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I'm just asking, man. <laughs> <laughs> took me a second there. <laughs> anyway, Seagull's got right. finds himself again at a, at a deficit here. Uh, Jeb's looking like a strong pick to make it into Grand Finals here at Xanadu on his, uh, on his like, I guess, every once in a while trip back up to MD. Yeah, his once in a blue moon trip. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, the other Bayonetta in this region is not here, Pink Fresh, so, you know, maybe he wants to come back. So we need some representation here. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking that when, when I saw Jeb, I'm like, well, you know, I guess there's always got to be a high-level Bayo here at Xanadu. And, you know, a lot of people like to, you know, uh, say negative things about Jeb's Bayo, but he's here putting in work, and he's almost finding himself in Grand Finals It's almost like he's do. used the hate to fuel himself, because this bayonet has been getting so good recently. Yeah, I can definitely see the improvements he's been making. And having played it myself, I definitely, you know, can see how, how, how good he's gotten with the character. Jeb is, uh, he used to be a, a very good Lucas, but he ended up switching to Bayo Kinetic, because, you know, he... He still is, <laughs> he but doesn't only, think that Lucas only is a very just good recently admit that he's now a Bayo main. Really? Even though he hasn't played Lucas in, <laughs> what, sad. four months now? That makes me sad for Lucas. Poor, poor little kid. Nah, he had it coming. Wow, what did he do? He's just a jerk with those side beats, man. What happened? What? What? How did... How? How? I, he was... Was he... Uh, like he was Bayo on the left, was on and the then right, all of a sudden... He was on the left. And then they collided, they and then they switched spots. I don't get it. That was the true X-Men right there, because they crossed each other. <laughs> that was a very tricky way uh, to make it back to the stage, avoiding that Nair, which would have taken the stock. And now we talk about abusing rage kills. You know, uh, Joe himself finds himself in a good position to maybe abuse rage himself and get a really early stock. Uh, kind of the reverse situation from last game. It might be harder for him, because... Well, yeah. I mean, doesn't really oh, have... No, oh, no. Oh, no, it's All right, Bayo. There we go. It's Bayo. She's got, like, about 10,000 years. Oh, uh, and he's taunting. But I was saying, uh, Diddy doesn't really have any, like, uh, big play moves. Yeah, he's, right? you know, Banana down tilt to F smash will kill mad early with Rage. Oh, yeah, that definitely that will. That kills stupidly early. If you've got max Rage, that kills very early. And I was kind of looking for uh, Joe to start fishing for that at some but point. But that in itself can be kind of hard to land when you're against, you know, Elusive Bayonetta, who's, yeah. as we're seeing, just zip all around the stage, stay up in the air, throwing out aerials and uh, bullet climaxes. This is true. Wait, if you hold the A button to shoot the bullet, is that bullet arts or climax? No, uh, it's arts. Neutral B is climax. All right, we got yeah. it there. Thanks, yeah, arts when you Thanks Professor. Oh, this could be it. No, it won't. Now he chooses to end the combo with the background. I think it was probably as a response to Joe's uh, that DI was, out of that combo. That was the poor glory bait out of combo. Up the side B, side B back here. I honestly have like never bothered to like try band of his combos. So half the time they're doing their combos, I have no idea what's happening. That's I'm just like I'm just gonna mash my SDI and hope for the best. Excellent conversion there, taking game two. And yeah, since and now that I'm removing, we can assess this as game three for uh, best of five. Okay, so this is best of five. And Jeb is finding himself, as we mentioned earlier, in a very good position to send himself to Grins here. It's the power of the blue. And yeah, we're going to get a switch here. He's Ooh. switching to Sonic. And we'll see. Uh, back to the wall, going back to his tried and true. Yeah. Well, now he's got to take three games with his main now. Or maybe he feels bad about not wearing blue, so he's picking Sonic. <laughs> I mean, he could have gone blue, did he? 
Is there a blue Diddy? I think so. I think there's a blue Diddy uniform. If it is, it's probably ugly. All right, this is going to be a throw combo from Sonic. Sonic actually gets a decent amount out of his throws. He's known for getting a lot out of his spin dash, but people often forget that, you know, he's got some pretty good throw combos. And he also has... I don't want to say confirmed, but he could do something out of each of his throws. I'm pretty sure so out of up throw he does get confirmed. Oh yeah, like, obviously, like, out of up throw he does, but out of down throw he then gets a tech chase. Yeah, that's true. Uh, up throw is a kill throw at stupid high percents. Also, I think you can... I think it mix up, mixes up the eye or something. Yeah, that too. And then back air, we all know kills, so... All four of his throws have some pretty good use to them. Yeah. And then if he gets a, gets a grab on you on a platform, he can always up throw to up throw you at the right percent to just die. Sneaks in another grab there. Yeah, he's getting a lot of these right now. And oh my oh, god, he went down so deep there. for that. That was such a nice play there. Man, I guess Jeb just couldn't resist playing with the spring for a little bit. <laughs> Honestly, Honestly can. I don't if, I, if I had a dive kick like that, I would do the exact same thing. But no, as we were saying, I, I mean, still do the exact same thing when I'm cloud. But anyway, Jeb immediately retaliating, evening up the stock count, a literal 1% difference between the two. Never mind, it's more than 1% difference between the two. <laughs> but no, we were talking about this earlier, but I love Joe's confidence to just go down there and uh, find that back air. No one ever challenges Bayo's recovery, and for good reason, because there's so much, you know, there's just so many big hitboxes flowing all around her, when, and you have to read exactly where she's going to be going at any moment. But Joe was so confident in that, and Jeb was not ready for it. Yeah, this is such a confidence-based game, it's kind of crazy how you can literally yourself go up tiers of players in your region if you're playing more confident that day. I completely agree with that, yeah. And Joe just always has that confidence. You know, he's always going for those deep ledge guards like that. Yeah. And he also loves his back airs. Oh. Went for another four glory combo there. I think we all know what Jeb was doing before bracket today then. <laughs> he's on that for glory grind. Of course, man. Low key, you can get some great practice on four glory. That's, I remember Nairo, like, at some point, he was asked, you know, what's the best way to get better? And he's like, for glory. <laughs> like, before the DI trading room mod came out, it was the best way to learn if your combos were oh real or not. Oh my god. Wow. He I actually think Jeb kind of screwed himself there by going for an up air to beat him out of the forward smash. No, he, she extended he her legs up there. He uppied. He, he, beat, he, killed, he killed her out of the uppy. Oh, that looked, yeah, like, I mean, that, that it looked like he jumped up up air to try and hit him out of the up smash, and then was going to... No, I'm pretty sure that was a witch twist. I'm pretty sure he hit him out of the witch twist. Hmm. Yeah. I could have sworn that was an up air. Well, either way, it was incredibly uh, impressive timing from Joe. Oh, yeah, definitely. Either Perfectly way. Perfectly F smash that lead and either right way, when Bayo's uh, hit boxes appeared there. And both those moves do snake through ledges. Yeah. So either way, it would have hit uh, Jeb, or I'm sorry, Seagull Joe out of that F smash had he not been perfect with his timing. Yeah. You know, maybe Joe showing us, uh, Seagull Joe showing us some uh, unused tech against Bayo there. Maybe some characters do have options to two-frame that up B. Or maybe it was an up air. You know, we're not sure, but... <laughs> All right, that was a nice, nice little read there from Joe. Kind of Reading Bayo's uh, empty hop patterns just to get that forward air and push her further off stage. Did that balloon stop that from being true? I, I didn't notice, actually. But I do love when balloons get in the way of combos. That's always hype I love when balloons help combos. I hate it when <laughs> they stop combos. <laughs> oh, and he's going to get witch time, but yeah, he was too high up to get a serious punish for it. And just the way that witch time ended, he wasn't able to, or he didn't pop out of the witch twist 100% correctly. But it didn't matter because it's Bayonetta. She just get another combo just yeah. like that and take it. Honestly, Seagull just needs to learn to SDI. He just needs to learn the matchup. Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> That's the biggest problem here. Oh, and they kind of just... Someone get ESAM on the line. <laughs> they kind of just traded there and ended up in a boxing situation. And Jeb found himself with a grab, which is surprising because Sonic's a character known for having pretty decent oh. boxing options. And Bayo is not. Do you ever just punch a girl and she turns into a bunch of bats? <laughs> I hate it when that happens. All right. Uh, anyway... <laughs> We don't encourage punching anyone here. On, Unless they can turn to bats. <laughs> oh, and he reads him hanging onto the ledge, ledge there and punishes it with that explosive F smash. Great stuff from Joe. 
Gonna sort of get, uh, even up even up stocks at least. I don't think I've ever seen a dash attack hit like that. Yeah, it's weird. You can get like those initial hitboxes of dash attack and just send people right off stage. And if you're a character like Cloud, you just can't recover from it if you don't. Yeah, have I, to. But I, if I you're believe a character that. Like Bayo, you obviously can recover from it. Like if you do that to a Cloud at like 130, that's the game. No, if you do it to him at like any percent where he doesn't have a jump. Really? Like, when I played six WX's Cloud, yeah, he just did that to me. And when I was trying to up back, I just died. That's lame. But no, Bayo doesn't have to worry about that. She's got that incredibly impressive recovery. Meanwhile, we find ourselves with Joe in the last, and potentially the last stock of his winner's bracket. Yeah, he's on match point right now. Yeah. Staying at 95%. He's going to have to make some big plays happen if he's going to bring this back. That was a nice little confirm there. You know, just a, a late nair to jab just to send Bayo off stage. And Jeb just was looking for this one last hit that's going to take the Ooh, stock. Oh, yeah, charging that... his spin dash. Oh, okay. Missing the first kill of attack, but saying, well, wait a minute, I'm Bayonetta. I have a thousand more to try out. So jumped up with the nair to take it. And Jeb is in grand finals of Xanadu. That's right. Virginia is in grand finals. <laughs>